Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, May the 1st. We're in May. Happy May, everybody. Um, and like I told you today, we're going to have a story for foundations today. And we're going to do probably like one or two skills with it today. And then we're going to pick back up with it next week. But I have a big old surprise for y'all today. I have a special guest with me today. You know what that special guest may be? Mm, let's see. See if you were right. Who is it, friends? It's Echo. Echo is here with me this morning. Say good morning, Echo. Yeah, Echo's waving. Hello. Um, but Echo is going to be one of my audience members today as I read this story to you. Okay, Echo is going to make sure that I am doing exactly what I'm supposed to do when I'm reading you the story. And guess what? Echo's friend, Codfish, is in the story, okay? And he also knows Rick. He also knows Beth, all right? So these are characters that are going to be in our story. And if you remember Beth and Rick, they were in our decoding and dictation section yesterday. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to get started? I am. So I'm going to go away for a second. I'll be right back, ready for the story. All right, friends. So Echo is sitting here on the table. See, not too far away. And I'm right here. And so, I'm sorry, she's right here. And he's going to be here while I read the story. All right. Okay. So our story today, let me get my pointer. I know you remember these from the classroom. Story is called Codfish. Now I'm going to read the story straight through twice. And then we are going to identify the words that have the TH diagraph in them. All right. All right. Turn your listening ears on so let's do our tranquil reading our eyes are open our ears are listening our voices are off let's try it again our eyes are open our ears are listening our voices are off and you are ready in five four three two one zero codfish Beth got Rick a red net at the, the shop. Then Rick got a big fish in the net. It was a codfish. Rick fed the codfish to his pet cat, Chip. Chip had the dish of codfish. Yum, yum. Okay, one more time. Beth got Rick a red net at the shop. Then Rick got a big fish in the net. It was a codfish. Rick fed the fish to his pet cat, Chip. Chip had the dish of codfish. Yum, yum. Remember, yesterday we learned in our trick words, we learned about the X. Exclamation point. So we know that that is with a lot of excitement. Okay. So this is not the last time you're going to see the story. I promise you, we're going to see the story probably about four more times. Um, but we're going to be doing different activities with it every time. Okay. So let's look at our um work, our story. Give me one moment. I need to put another paper up under here so I don't write on the wall. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, I'm back. So we are going to identify the words. We're going to go row by row that have the TH diagram. Remember, TH is for thumb. And what sound does thumb make? The TH diagram. Good. It is very close to the F sound, but we say it with two different parts of our mouth. So when we're doing the sound, our top teeth are going down on our lips. 
but when we're doing the sound, our tongue is actually coming between our top teeth and our bottom teeth. So if you find that you may say the sound like, then guess what? You have to check how you're saying and correct your mouth so that you're able to make that sound the correct way, okay? All right, so let's go by the, let's go start with the title, codfish. Do we see any words in our title that has the TH digraph? No, we see another digraph, but we're not going to identify that digraph right now. All right, let's go to the next row. Beth got brick A. Do we see any words that have the TH? Yes, Beth. So I'm just going to circle the TH digraph. Any other words? Nope. Let's go to the third line. Red net at the shop. Do we see a word that has the TH digraph? Yes, the word the has the TH digraph. So our trick word also has a digraph. How awesome is that? All right, so one, two, three, let's go to the fourth line. Then Rick got a big. You see any word that has the TH digraph? Yep, the word thin. Everyone say thin. All right. Next line. Any more words? No. Next line. Fish in the net. It was. Trick word the again. Guys are doing a great job. Next line. A codfish. Rick fed the. Yes, we have seen the word the a lot in our story. Fish to his pet pet chip. No, no TH there. Next one. Chip had the dish of codfish. The word the. Yum, yum. Any diagrams there? Nope. So let's go back and I'm going to reread the set the story and you can read it with me if you choose to, okay? I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go through with each word. And then next week, we're actually gonna do some looping and then we're gonna learn how to breathe when we're reading, all right? So let's go. Codfish. Beth got Rick a red net at the shop. Then Rick got a big fish in the net. It was a codfish. Rick fed the fish to his pet pet Chip. Chip had the dish of codfish. Yum, yum, right? So parents, I am going to attach a PDF file that you can um, use Matter of fact, I'm going to come back to the camera. Hold on. Pause the question. All right. So, parents, I'm going to upload um, a PDF file of the story codfish, and you can either print that out. I'm going to make it so that each um, student has a copy of it. If you want to go and identify the words like we did that has the TH digraph, you can. Um, just as practice. It's not graded, but if you decide to do it, I will be able to see that you've done it. Um, you can print it out and you can read this every night before you go to sleep. Uh, they should, this is a story that if they have been practicing the skills that we've been doing in foundations, they should be able to, for the most part, read this entire story by themselves because they're tapping out to blend. So it may take them a little while to get through it, um, but they should be able to tap majority of these words out. Um, you may have some trick words that they haven't learned, um, but I believe the majority of the trick words that are in the in the story they have learned. So this is a story that our friends should be able to practice on their own. So I would definitely practice the story reading, and that is why I'm attaching the PDF file. You should be able to pull the PDF up, not even just on your computer, but on your tablet or your cell phone, um, be able to print it out. If you can't, let me know. I'll send it via email. Um, to you if that will be better for you. 
but let me know. I'll see you later um, in our meeting at 1.15.